Hi, everybody. Today, I want to talk about obeying those who are in authority over you. Now, we've all had that favorite teacher or a favorite boss who took the time to encourage us, who believed in us, who were a blessing to us, whether they were a Christian or not. I've certainly been blessed to have those kinds of people in my life. But then we have that teacher or that boss who was just plain mean. They look down on you. They talk down to you. They hold you in contempt for whatever reason. It doesn't have to be because you're a Christian. They just might not like your face. Well, unfortunately, there's not much you can do about it because they are in authority over you. And this is something that sadly is pretty fresh in my mind because I recently had an encounter with someone who thinks that they are in authority over me, but actually their job is to represent me. But the truth is they have quite a bit of unofficial power, and that can be more effective than official power sometimes. And frankly, I don't know about you, but I don't want to obey people who disrespect me, who look down on me. I don't think I know anyone who does. So as a Christian, what do I do? Well, let's take a look at Romans chapter 13, verses 1 through 7. It says, All of you must obey those who rule over you. There are no authorities except the ones God has chosen. Those who now rule have been chosen by God. So whoever opposes the authorities opposes leaders whom God has appointed. Those who do that will be judged. If you do what is right, you won't need to be afraid of your rulers. But watch out if you do what is wrong. You don't want to be afraid of those in authority, do you? Then do what is right, and you will be praised. The one in authority serves God for your good. But if you do wrong, watch out. Rulers don't carry a sword for no reason at all. They serve God, and God is carrying out his anger through them. The ruler punishes anyone who does wrong. You must obey the authorities. Then you will not be punished. You must also obey them because you know it is right. That's also why you pay taxes. The authorities serve God. Ruling takes up all their time. Give to everyone what you owe them. Do you owe taxes? Then pay them. Do you owe anything else to the government? Then pay it. Do you owe respect? Then give it. Do you owe honor? Then show it. Now, is that what you wanted to hear? No, me neither. The desire to rebel against authority can be very strong. But if we rebel against legitimate, godly authority, then we are rebelling against God. And I certainly don't want God to lovingly correct me. When we are obedient to those in authority over us, we are ultimately obeying God, which pleases Him. You see, although God may place people in authority over us who are harsh, God Himself is not harsh. In fact, God is madly in love with us, and everything is under His control. This was driven home for me a few years ago. I don't want to get too much into it, but I was carrying out a task because I had to. I didn't think I should have to. I didn't appreciate the way I was told to do it by people whose job it is to represent me. I didn't want to do it, but I did it. And truth be told, I did it out of fear. People in authority can make life miserable for certain people if they want to. 
And while I was engaged in this task, I don't know if this was a thought that just occurred to me or if it was really the Lord speaking to me, but in my head was Jesus asking, would you do it for me? And that changed my outlook and it changed my attitude. Doing it for Jesus. I was able to complete the task, still not happy, but definitely having more peace than I did before. Now, I want to be clear about a few things. First, obedience to earthly authority only applies to the extent that it agrees or it's compatible with God's law. If a boss orders me to lie, Eighth Commandment, or to steal, Seventh Commandment, no, I'm not doing that. If a politician orders me to worship some other god, Second Commandment, then no, I'm not doing that. But authority doesn't have to be pleasant to conform to God's laws. Secondly, you have the right to use whatever means you have to change things. That includes voting and even running for office yourself if you don't like the politicians and the leadership that you have. You also have the right to voice your concerns to your manager if their leadership style is troubling you. You also have the option of looking for a new job. But in the meantime, obey those in authority over you because God has allowed that authority to be over you. Don't do it for them. Do it for Jesus. Because Jesus loves you, and he went to the cross for you. Thank you very much for watching. God bless.